All right, hello. We are here with some jewels. We got an American opponent. Let me turn the volume down. It is always too loud. Okay, we're here playing No Move. Um, this is an interesting one to start with. It looks like we might have some Argentinian poles, maybe. Uh, what's this language? Oh god. Can I get the sun, please? Sun is north, all right. Argentina it is. We'll go kind of near Buenos Aires. Yeah, we got the right province. Are they provinces in Argentina? States? Probably more likely. Decent points. Round two. Okay. Ah, we got, um, is that a Dutch thing, the back of that sign? Maybe. C4. We've got corn. Or is it a Belgian thing? I think it's a Dutch thing. So we'll try the Netherlands, but I'll go close to Belgium. It was France. Interesting. Oh yeah, it was a D road, wasn't it? Okay, I'm just... Yep. Yep. Fair enough. Okay. That's alright. We went, we didn't. I think we even won that round in spite of being like two countries over. Um, this looks like maybe Argentina again. We got black car. What are those red flags? Yeah, sun is north. So, yeah, and it looks like an Argentinian pole. Alright, how far south do we think we are? We got what looks like pine trees over here. And then... Some kind of like vaguely African looking shrubbery. We'll go kind of southern Cordoba. Okay, it was, yeah, it was Uruguay actually. Uh, <laughs> it was vaguely African looking shrubbery, I did say that, so that's, that's not like the worst guess in the world. Obviously, it's never great going wrong continent, but um, it, it happens to the best of us. Okay. Oh, these H's on the back of science, are there a, like, Minnesota, Wisconsin kind of thing, aren't they? I could see this being, oh, like, Michigan? Maybe? Definitely that kind of area. I mean, it could be Canada, I could be wrong, but we'll go Wisconsin. Okay, I was wrong, it was Quebec. Eh. That's not great, is it? That's okay. We survive for round five. Here in... Um... Uh... Um... <laughs> uh... Is it Greenland? Because I don't think it's Iceland. And I don't think it's Faroe Islands. So I'd imagine it's just Greenland, which is kind of horrifying because I don't know Greenland at all. So, I mean, we could just guess in Nook. That might be the play here. Yeah, we got icebergs. I mean... Hmm. Where is Nook? Oh, goodness gracious me. I don't even know. Um... Um, oh, it's there. Are we there? Probably not. It's probably some random little town. Or well, some random little town. I should have clicked where I clicked earlier. That's okay. Um, yeah. We were never finding that, but that's okay. We both clicked Nook. Round six. Um. Oh, hi. Would you be the flag of Chile? I think you would. Uh, okay, we have mountains northeast, which, you know, doesn't really narrow it down. It doesn't feel terribly south, does it? We might go slightly north of Santiago. Not bad. Chile is fun because you can kind of, like, guess. It's really latitude guesser in Chile because... Like, different parts of the country obviously look so different because it's so long. What is happening here? We have a bridge. Uh, 
is a perur. In Spanish, is a perur? Oh, is a Bolivia. It's a possibility. We have mountains east. Oh, is it Chile again? What's the car? Not really visible. Um, sun is north. I think I go kind of like here. I think that's GG. Uh, it was Bolivia. That's why I went there, because I really didn't... I wasn't sure. But we went too far away. Okay. Back up above a thousand. How lovely. Um, yeah, that was a decent game for me, I think. It was... Um, yeah, Argentina, we missed France, but it wasn't the easiest round. Um, we missed Uruguay as well, but <laughs> we got the right continent, so we got decent points. Um, yeah, was there anything there that was Quebec... I, North America is probably one of my weaker areas, so th th this kind of thing does, <laughs> does tend to happen to me a lot. I mean, yeah, they all kind of look very similar in my mind. Greenland, I mean, not much we could have done about that. That was a nice guess in Chile, and then that was a nice kind of guess. I mean, we're wrong country, but we're not too far away. So we'll do another one. We will do another one. See what happens. All right. Hello, hello. Uh, greetings. Is that the flag of Armenia? I think it might be. I don't know. All right. Well, we appear to be in India. Where in India? Um. Well, if we had better camera quality, I might be able to tell you. Oh, we have thatched roofs. That's actually very useful. Uh, anything else of interest? We have these uh, these dudes on bikes. Also not particularly helpful. I would love just a clear look at this language. It looks like just Hindi, right? Mm, yeah. Could be Marathi, but that wouldn't work with the thatched roofs, so... I think it's probably northern east coast would be my tentative region guess. Okay, Yasaraj. Are we ever finding that? I, I find that highly, highly unlikely. Okay. I mean, it looks like just a small tr the name of a small train station. I don't think it's the name of a city. Um. Yeah, there are no poles either. I mean, there's this. That's not really anything. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I just go like Jharkhand. Something like that shouldn't be terribly far away. Unless I'm completely wrong about everything I just said, which is possible. No, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean... It was more north than east, but that's fine. Uh, India is tough. <laughs> Especially, uh, I don't know why they use that stupid camera. It's so bad. Alright, we have a Mercedes. We have A-type guardrails. We have thick concrete pole. I mean, it's Europe, obviously. Um, uh, where in Europe... Oh, that's Cyrillic. I just looked at that and didn't register it. Okay. Oh, and we got red reflectors. Is this Macedonian? Do we have an antenna? Nope. Okay. Well. Uh, we'll try it. Because <laughs> th I'm pretty sure Macedonia is um, a type guardrail red re reflector. If I'm remembering that correctly. And that would also explain the Cyrillic. And the Mercedes. Or Bulgaria, I guess. I mean, we're not... Yeah. I don't know. I thought I was being clever, but... It was just Bulgaria. It's alright. I'll survive. Okay. This is good for me if I have time. Because if I don't have time, I'm just going to panic and click Sydney. But we should be able to work this out. Alright. King Street. Okay. 
I don't know, man. It's suburban, which is always tough. Um, we have a beach to our northeast, which means the water's kind of east. So, yeah, I mean, east coast would make sense. Whereabouts on the east coast? Hmm. We have palm trees. We have a Norfolk pine, maybe? Eucalypts. I think northern New South Wales is reasonable. Coffs Harbour. Might even be south, but it could also be north, so I don't know. I think east coast, though. Yeah, it was just, it was actually way south. So the thing about Australia, you get palm trees everywhere, because people like to plant them. I mean, I live in Victoria, and you see them everywhere, because people, I don't know, just plant them to feel like they live in a tropical environment when they don't. Um, and it really is quite confusing sometimes. What is this? What is this? Can I get the sun, please? Huh. <laughs> no, I think is the answer to that question. What is that bollard? I think it's South America. It could even be Mexico. But the sun is kind of leaning... Oh, is that a Peruvian sign? Hmm. I wouldn't be shocked if this was Peru. What are these numbers? Do these mean anything? Bolivia. Is Does that say Bolivia? I mean... I don't really have anything else, <laughs> so... We'll say it says Bolivia, I guess. I mean... Nine, two, any of these numbers? IDS. What do these numbers mean? Are they road numbers? Probably not. I'd be surprised if they were. Uh, I think it is South America, so hopefully we're not too far away. I mean... I don't think it... Okay, maybe it didn't say Bolivia. Either way, we weren't... Yeah, we weren't too far away. It was a Peruvian sign, but I just, you know... The poll kind of... I didn't want to ignore that too much. Okay. Um, What's this language? Hmm. I mean, I think it's just Bangladesh. Yeah. It is... Well, it's Bengali, the language, anyway, so... I'll go, like, up in Varangpur. It's just by Dakar. Kind of north. That's alright. I don't know why I went north. <laughs> I should have just clicked middle. I didn't really have a reason. Alright, round six. Got white lines. Uh, I think that's a euro plate. It's kind of hard to see from here, though. Um, we've got, like, Birches. Oh. If I had to guess, I'd say that's Finnish. Uh, yeah. I mean, I see Finland here. We got birches, we got pines, we got, uh, the road lines for it as well, so. Because you don't get dashed out of lines in Finland, you get them in, like, Norway, Sweden. Um, alright. How far north? Ah, not too far north. Okay, we're right on the border. Our opponent is currently flawlessing us. <laughs> but, I mean, we haven't been too far off. We've just not been quite as precise. What are these? Sun is south. It's not terribly surprising. Uh, what is this? Do we have any language here? Astra. Okay. It's not the most useful. I'd say probably Germany. That's not a flag, I don't think. I think that's maybe a windsock. Um, oh, the road looks kind of French, though. Hmm. 
Uh, I don't know. The trees are kind of like dead in a wintry way, but it's very green still. Maybe, maybe we go like on the border. I'll go at like. What do I think is more likely? I think Germany's more likely. We'll go like Frankfurt. Okay, it was Luxembourg. That's why, yeah, okay, sure. I mean, there was, I don't think there was anything there that screamed Lux Luxembourg, but I was definitely getting like French German vibes, which, which does make sense. Okay, on a dirt road. Huh? What is this? Oh, it's probably Brazil, isn't it? Where's the sun? Sun, please. Sun is south? Uh, okay. Wait, it's not Europe ever. Is it Europe? <laughs> Uh-oh. I mean, it still could be Brazil with sun south. It would just have to be like... All the way up there. How south was the sun? Like how how reliable do we think that is? Oh well, now it's north. <laughs> yes, sir. I think it's just above us. Okay. Um, in that case, show me these plants. Oh, we got cactus. Okay. That probably leans me. You know what? I think it's Mexico. I think it's Mexico. I think it's southern Mexico. I think it's Chiapas. Okay. That was an excellent last second switch. Do we win? Oh my god, we win. <laughs> <laughs> we lost every round. Except for that one. Uh, yep. That's how it goes sometimes. GG's. <laughs> we got to round eight. We lost seven rounds. And then the eighth round, we guessed Mexico and they guessed Colombia. So... Okay, what happened? India was kind of nice. I mean, we weren't terribly close, but we weren't terribly far. That one, uh, I've been trying to learn my European guardrails, so I thought I was maybe onto something, but clearly I was not. Uh, yeah, I mean, suburban Australia is always hard. I, yeah, I don't know if there's anything there to indicate. What? Where were you from? Where were you? Just a random small little beach town. Yeah. Um... Oh, the, the, that round. Yeah, I mean, we. Sh I would have gone Peru had that poll not said possibly Bolivia. I mean, it might have been. It might have said something else anyway. But Bangladesh, Finland, and then oh, Luxembourg. Yeah. Okay, and then. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even close. I'm not even close. They're just like in their own country. So. Oh, I feel a little bit bad about that one, but that's how it goes sometimes, I guess. Um, okay. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, see you later.